You knew Diana a bit and you've written about it in your, in your memoirs and so on. So you remember that time very well. Well, I do because we were part of the, the planning of the whole thing and it was a, it was a huge thing. Um, the royals were up in Balmoral, the Queen and uh, Charles and the boys had stayed up there. And the issue as to who would walk behind the coffin was a huge, huge issue. And there's no doubt that I think Prince Philip, Prince Charles and the, the kind of senior advisors wanted all of them to be there. I think there was a real worry that somebody would it, shout you, out. Were you in the palace well, at the it, time? I was in the palace and I was responsible for all the media arrangements. Um, and it was an issue and it was actually Prince Philip who took the lead. Both William and Harry didn't want to, to, to walk. Uh, they did. it was, didn't want to walk. Didn't want to. Uh, in the end, that's got to be the, oh, e the answer. It. And, this, is, and this, is, this was earlier in the week. But by the time we got later in the week, uh, Prince Philip sort of said, sat them down and said, look, if I walk, will you walk? Uh, and they agreed to that. And having watched that clip of them walking behind the, the, the coffin, it was quite interesting because I was alongside them when they went to Kensington Gardens the day before, uh, on the Thursday, to look at the floral tributes. And Harry was, uh, William was very, Harry, was very composed. Uh, he was talking to mourners. He was looking at inscriptions on the floral tributes, probably hurting inside. But he was maintaining an incredible composure, as was his brother William. That's not necessarily a good sign. <clears throat> but I think, he, he they, was, I think they both think... Go on, Angela. I Sorry, was going to say he was gripped by monumental shock. And the idea that, that that's either, with respect, composure or it's, it's behaving in a way that is befitting of a young royal. The boy had lost a mummy who he absolutely adored, flawed and brilliant and, and all the things that she was. And he has been thrust onto the world stage. Um, and this idea that the boy's in immediate visceral response um, was, no, we don't want to do it. And even if they were talked into it, is to me the most awful part of this whole grim story mm. is that they were they were little boys he was a young boy and he lost his mum and i just think it is just awful 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 i remember that, the that most we're moving thing i remember now. they went with that day when they went to see the floral tributes and the public were there but they were quite a way back and they went they shook a few hands i think outside buckingham palace and when you're the public and these young princes come up to you, you what do you say? Mm. And everybody shouted the same thing, which was really interesting. They just shouted, God bless you, sir. I thought, is, there, like, yeah, that's, is that the, that's the reserve yeah. thing to shout? It's interesting. I, I think both of them mm. um, believe that if you boil it down, that the press did kill their mother. I think they believe, I think right. that's a very strong belief. And therefore that feeds back to this today. I think it does. And yes. I think William has learned to deal with that. I think he still feels very strongly. I think he hates a lot of what the press do does. I think he, uh, he has all sorts of systems, particularly around, around George and the life he should lead. And, and, but they, to go back to Dickie's point earlier, I think they have worked out how to do it in a way that suits them.